Hey, what's up guys? So yes, Jaywing is here with the review for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Episode 20, Season 3, Emancipation. So yes, I figured out I should probably get this episode review done, and I don't want to be like last week and the week before and not do it. So I figured, since the season finale is coming up next week, I need to get this done and get it out there because I really wanted to show you, and I really want to talk about it. Because I don't want to talk about it next week, because in season, well, and later on, down the line, I am going to do a season for what I want to see, like how I'm going to do with Star Wars Rebels, what I want to see is in season 3, and I will do that for all of the shows that I review, such as DC Legends, Heroes of T Legends of Tomorrow, um, the, um, um, The Flash, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Star Wars Rebels, and Gotham, and so, you know, and who knows what else I'll be doing, you know, you never know, but... Um, definitely I'm looking forward to doing those videos. I really want to, you know, kind of express, well, kind of tell you guys what I'd like to see and maybe what I hope will happen. But yeah, <laughs> that's about it. So for that, so let's talk about the episode. So Emancipation picks up right kind of after, um, Captain America Civil War. So if you haven't seen Captain America Civil War, don't listen about probably the first 30 seconds of this video. I'll put it out in the, well, just don't, just, you know. Well, first of all, you shouldn't be watching the episode anyways, and if you already did watch the episode, you probably had it spoiled for you, so I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, um, so yes, uh, right at the end of the episode, it is talking about Captain America and Iron Man fighting in the Civil War, and that the Soviet courts are still in effect, and that is a big thing throughout the episode, is the Soviet courts. They're brought up a lot, kind of as a reference, you know, and it's also very, very cool to see that, you know, that they are connecting to that large cinematic universe, and I hope that they do that on the Netflix TV shows as well, because then it can really very much connect it all, and I thought that, and I think that'll be very interesting. So, then... Um, you know, it brings up that Captain America is missing, and that, you know, May and Coulson have their discussion about the Soviet Accords, and blah, blah, and, you know, and that, and it's very cool to see that, like, oh, you know, these guys are talking about it, you know, and so, through, so the main part of this episode is that, um, Hive is trying to create his inhuman army, and he succeeds, in a way, mm -hmm. so, he creates his inhuman, so I want to talk about some things, for, I'll break it down, kind of, in a way, and General Talbot and Coulson, also, are going through the base, and Coulson is telling Talbot everything that's going on with him, and, you know, well, what's going on in this base and everything, and, you know, it's just like, eh. it's the same old thing, whenever Coulson and Talbot meet, they're always going through the base and talking, that's pretty much all they do when they get together, you know, whenever Coulson calls them in, like, yeah, you need to come in, they always go in the base, and he shows them everything, and it's just like, huh, crazy pretty much you know or he gives him some kind of intel or something you know it's just very cool and very funny i think you know because but then they do it every single time and i hope they keep, don't keep doing that all the time you know hopefully they can mix it up a little bit because talbot is kind of being a whiny little bitch sometimes you know it's just like yeah shut up <laughs> so definitely do not you know want that to continue too much or it's going to get very annoying so Moving on to what I was talking about, which was, um, um, so, um, Coulson and Talbot are walking through the base and they're talking about the inhuman threat, and he's, Talbot's talking about, the, you guys, maybe you guys should join the Soviet Corps, so then we can monitor these guys and level their power level, and, you know, Coulson's like, no, 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 we don't want to do that. These inhumans, we promised them, you know, they'd be safe and such and such, so, and, you know, and it brings up, and it's kind of like the Iron Man Captain America thing again, you know, just, because the Soviet course thing is a huge thing, so it's definitely, you know, that's, it's still going to make a, ri a huge ripple effect on Earth, you know, and throughout these, probably throughout the rest of the series for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., because the Soviet Corps are going to be enacted probably for the rest of the MCU, maybe, who knows, but, um, and I, um, and I did like seeing that Daisy and, um, Lincoln were talking, and, you know, he's like, Yes, um, I need to come to you. I need you. I cannot go. You know, I, ju I just need to be there with you. And, you know, obviously it was all a fake anyways. Because in the end, they sent Lash to go and save, you know, and save Daisy. And I thought that was very well done. But let's not talk about that. First, let's talk about Hive's little plan. So what Hive planned to do, kind of in a way, was create these new Inhumans. And he and the Watchdogs were start came back and that was very cool to see them. And I also did like seeing that um, those are the test subjects that Ward is experimenting on because they became what they hated most, you know. And that's a that's things for a lot of superheroes and super well supervillains become the things that they hate most, you know. They hate super they hate these superheroes and then boom they become a supervillain. So then they take their vengeance on the hero. <laughs> so it's very cool to see that. Um, I felt like they kind of got wasted really quick, you know. 
some of them did. I don't know if they're all dead or not, but I thought, you know, in that end fight with Hive and everything. But and I'll talk about that Hive fight later, so, you know. Um, and I also, I did like the Doctor. I think the Doctor is kind of funny and comedic, you know, some, t some things are funny, you know. And he's the same guy from The Mummy, if you guys didn't know. You know, he's the same guy. He's the chick's brother, so just, just put that out there. But, you know, and it's kind of cool, like, he's, you know, doing this sort of thing for a dead creature, you know, a bacteria, and, you know, but all that. And, you know, so then I also did like kind of the confrontation with, um, well, not confrontation, but... The Miss Rodriguez, I remember her name now, and Mac talk that they have kind of throughout the, well, kind of throughout the episode, because I feel like these two kind of form a little bond, you know, maybe they could be together. Sorry, I'm doing what my friend Brayden does a lot. <laughs> Sorry, but um, definitely I think that'll be interesting if that picks off, maybe. I was hoping that maybe it did, but definitely in the episode, he she gives him this necklace, which leads into next week's episode, whoever dies has the necklace, so, and she's like, have faith, you know, and it's just like... <sighs> Who, because we see Fitz having it, so, and I don't think Fitz is going to die. I think Mac, I'm going to put my thing out there. I think Mac is going to be the one that dies. I think Mac or Coulson. I don't think, I don't think they'll kill off anybody else, but I think Mac or Coulson are the ones that are going to die. And I think Coulson, because he is willing to sacrifice his life and he's going to do what he needs to do to protect his team. But I don't think they're going to kill him off because he's the title character. You know, he's the main character. But if they would, then I think then Daisy would take the forefront. Chloe Bennett would. But I think Mac is probably a better choice because I think that he will be the one to, you know, well, he will be the one to do it because he is going to protect Daisy. He wants to protect her and he wants to not, you know, get anybody killed or injured or, any, you know, killed or anything like that. So he's going to do what he needs to do. So, yeah. Hopefully, um, I'm putting it down right now. Um, I might be wrong. I might be right, you know, but I don't think they're going to kill anybody else off. And I don't think that, um, 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 the, uh, fuck. I don't think they're going to, sorry guys. I don't think they're going to kill Miss Rodriguez off or, um, the other guy, the other inhuman, I forgot. Joey. I don't think they're going to kill either of those two off. Because I think they can do some more character development with them next season if they would keep on, you know, with them. So I think that'll be interesting. But I think Mac is going to be the one that will die. But, so let's talk about this fight here. So, um, the trick is sent with May sends, um, and Lash to fight Ward instead. Well, Hive instead of Lincoln. So, that fight was pretty cool. And it was cool to see that, it, you know, at the end of the episode, um, Simmons is like, no, it wasn't it wasn't um lash who saved scott daisy it was you know it was you know she didn't say it but you know it was like oh it was andrew you know and it was kind of like that because this is the first time we've ever seen lash do anything kind of good in a way so it was kind of cool to see that and so i definitely did like that and that fight was such bullshit hive didn't do jack junk i hope in the season finale he takes that coat off and can go to town he has the power of ward ward was an animal he was a fist fighting son of a bitch he can kick anyone he can kick a lot of ass so please show us that and you have powers take that coat off and just go to town because i think if he just keeps that coat on it's just gonna be like I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to, oh, oh, you know, and he's just going to fly away. He's not going to fight or anything. I hope he can do something. I want him to fight, not just stand there like, I want him to be like, you know, in the fight, like Daisy and Lincoln, they're in the fight. They are using their powers and they're also in the fight. And as well as the freaking whiplash guy, that chain thing reminded me of Ghost Rider. So maybe, maybe that's a reference. I don't know. Since Marvel has the rights to Ghost Rider, but you know, I'm not talking about that. But, um, like I said, definitely did like this episode, and I really did love the emotional punch it packed at the end, and especially that we know what Hive's plan is. He's planning to nuke the world, and Fitz said it pretty much blatantly that he's going to send a nuclear warhead into the, into Earth's atmosphere, and it's going to spread, and it's going to take care of pretty much a good population of the Earth. So, you know, definitely, Coulson is fighting a worldwide thing now, so if he does not stop him, which we know he will, you know... Um, danger will be everywhere, but I would really like to see if it did work, you know, if Hive would work, but then all the Avengers would be dead, pretty much, so, yeah, guys, um, but definitely I'm gonna give this episode a 5 out of 5 winks, yes, this episode is better than The Flash this week, so yes, um, sorry, but that, if you guys didn't like it, but, 
Definitely really did like a lot of things about this episode. I didn't feel there's any dull moment. I was entertained every minute. And um, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, I'm Jay Wink, and I'm working out. I'll see you guys later.